takes a lifetime to make a billion dollars takes a second to lose it give thanks and praise you live to see another day <laughs> Hello class, I'm gonna need you to take out your debt weapons and let's get ready to kill some debt. And we begin. Income, 4,000 to 4,400. Expenses starting out the month of November, $4,155.25. Total debt starting out, 159,000. Here's our current cash flow, okay? Conservative, very, very conservative cash flow of $400, including this wonderful lady contributing at the tier three level out of South Carolina. How awesome is that? So we factored that into our equation, all right? And as we analyze these debts, before we get started on velocity banking, right? We're gonna analyze where every dollar goes, we're gonna take a look at all the debts. We're gonna analyze cash flow, analyze the debt weapon, see where we can begin, okay? So I wanna give you some special numbers to keep in mind throughout this whole entire lesson here is we have two credit cards, all right? So we have two debt weapons already. We do not have an unsecured line of credit. So we're going to work on building our credit so that we can get to that level. Okay. So credit card number one, here's how much I owe. That's the monthly payment, 375. Then we have a credit card, 1650. Monthly payments, $58. All right. Currently, including the contribution at the tier three level for working with me, her total expenses that we can pay with a credit card are $1,397.91, okay? Now, current cash on hand in the month of November, we currently have $4,800, right? And we're gonna get another paycheck, right, before November ends of $2,800, okay? So we have that right there, cash on hand, all right? Now, what I want to do is I want to wipe this credit card out first because I want to get to that cash flow of 375. I want to get there as fast as possible. Of all the debts that she has, that's the one that I can pay off the fastest, okay? So come up here. I took the debt number, 144035. And you know how I always say to redirect money back to you? Well, that's exactly what her and I did. We've got $500 set aside. That's on top of this money, right? Not including. This is in addition to. We've got $500 saved for Christmas expenses. $160 cash back that we're going to get. $180 in savings. That's a total of $840, okay? I want her to redirect that to this, all right? In November going to bring the balance to $635, okay? Now, that $635, I want it to come from here, her cash on hand, right? Boom. Look, November, this credit card is paid off, all right? And I pay nothing in interest because the payment has already been made for the month of November, already been made. So therefore, I'm not going to get charged any interest. How awesome is that? Now, in the same month of November, right? It's we're we're on, what's the 18th? We are, we still got a couple like a week and a half left. So she has 514 dollars and 75 cents that is going to come out of this credit card, this credit card, to pay the rest of the expenses for the month, okay? Then, come December 1st, she's also gonna have another contribution amount come out, so that's a total 
of 661.75, okay? Now you're wondering, well, Denzel, what about the rest of the expenses for the month of November? I'm glad you asked. Come over here. Remember, 48, 28, we're at 76, total cash, November, right? $635 and the $840 that came from redirected money in here is going to pay that $1440, 35 okay? It's going to wipe that out. $514.75 is going to get put back on the credit card for expenses. The other expenses she has is $1,430.34 for the rest of November. So that money is going to go down to 616966 You with me? Cool. Now what happened? The 635 right, went towards that credit card. Okay. So now we're at 5,569.31 cash on hand, still in November. Okay? Credit card is paid off. Right? I got a new debt of 514.75 plus 147. New debt, 661.75. Right? No bill yet. Okay? No interest being accrued on a credit card, right? It takes 30 days before any interest gets tacked on if I don't pay this in full. Cool? All right. I've got this money on hand in cash. Come December 6th, she's going to get another paycheck for $2,800. Going to bring our total cash to $8,369.31. What am I going to do? Well, that same day, I'm going to dump six sixty one seventy five dollars into the credit card. Zero that out. Right? It's going to bring the balance, cash on hand, to 7,707.56. Okay? Now, cash bills, right here. This is cash bills for the month of December. 2,382.34. Mind you, for the month of December, I mean for the month of November, November and December, right? Look, I'm going to have a cash flow increase of 375. I'm going to have my 400 original cash flow hasn't hasn't gotten used just yet cuz it got redirected with this money right here plus the money I already had on hand. Okay, so I've got that going on. Right now, coming over here, we're in December. Okay, we're in December still, and we're in December over here. Paid six sixty one seventy five on the credit card. What am I gonna do? Credit that I can pay with expenses. One thousand three nine seven nine one. After I made a chunk in December six to zero out this out with me we're gonna pay one three nine seven nine one of expenses throughout the month of December throughout the month of December okay now January is gonna come January I'm gonna have a cash flow increase of 375 right because I'm not paying that credit card no more I'm running expenses through it keeping cash flow the whole entire time right Keeping my four, okay? We're in January. This will get wiped out, right? Because that money got used in when? December. So if you come over here and you look at the cash, the cash is still there. Even though the credit card debt itself gets paid, along with, these, with the expenses that I can run through credit, and I still have my cash right here. All right, so cash bills, right? We've got the credit bills that we can run. 
And then we got the cash bills. Brings the balance down to 5,32522, okay? Then I'm gonna get one last paycheck in December for 2,000, okay? It's gonna bring my balance of cash on hand to 7,032522, okay? And then I wrote here again, in January, we're gonna have a debt of that from here. And I'm gonna use that cash to zero out that credit card. I'm gonna zero it out. And then I try make I make a transition. Okay, here's where people get confused sometimes. It's like, all right, then so once I how do I know when to transition to the next debt to start doing velocity banking on that? Quite simple, as soon as you zero out the card and you've paid yourself back, right? We're now in January, okay? And we're gonna make a transition either in January or February. Okay, so for this lady, I know she can conservatively do this by February, okay? The earliest being January. We're gonna make a transition to Capital One to start doing velocity banking on that. And I have the money to do so. I've got the cash, right? That minus that, whatever's left over, okay? Plus she's gonna get two paychecks in January, yes? Okay, so we can make the transition. And that's why I wrote over here conservatively February 2019. Capital One's balance should be at around 1650. And we're going to do the same method. We're going to take that number and we're going to chunk over here. Plus, we're going to add some cash flow to just zero it out. Right? Run it back up to that amount. Pay ourselves back. By March or April, Capital One and the first credit card will be done. All of her other debts will be lower. Cash flow is gonna be higher, right? As soon as we zero out Capital One, that's gonna be another 58 bucks cash flow. She can potentially get a raise by then, yes. Any and all extra cash flow, she's gonna store it, she's gonna stack it and prepare ourselves for the very next debt that we're gonna tackle. She's got two options, okay? We can acquire our unsecured line of credit. That's gonna be option number one. That's gonna be the first thing that we wanna do. Let's acquire the line of credit anywhere from 10 to 15,000, okay? Unsecured, personal line of credit. If We don't get that, which I highly doubt, but let's say we don't. Worst case scenario, we don't get this. She can get a credit card promotion for like five to 10 grand. 0% APR, 0% on balance transfers, direct deposits, yada, yada. Pay a 3% fee and make a chunk payment towards three other debts that she has and increase our cash flow another 200 or so. And then start doing velocity banking on that. When that gets done, then I'm gonna visit right back here and gonna apply again. I'm gonna get this, no matter what. Whenever I'm working with someone, that's the primary goal. Whether you have it already or you don't have it, you're working towards it, trying to build the credit, right? All that good stuff. Keep watching my channel. I've got a lot of different ways that we can build credit if you're on this side, if you're, in, if you're this equation right here, if you're similar to this, where you're starting out without a line of credit, so you're working with credit cards. That's cool, look at the results that I get. Between November to February, I wipe out two big debts, credit card debts, right? With cash flow of that. You know how I am, right? I always wanna get the cash flow at least like five or more, right? But see, she was smart. 
she listened. She's like, okay, I'm going to redirect money. I'm going to know where every dollar goes. I'm going to manage the debts, analyze. I'm going to see what I can pay with credit to run expenses. I'm going to give so that I can be blessed tenfold, right? The amount she's giving here, this is key. It's going to 10x her what? Her overall results. We're going to wipe all this out in a matter of four years or less. Test me. I can do it. We can do it together. My name is Denzel. I hope you enjoyed this concept, this scenario. I want to thank the wonderful lady I'm working with right now. She's made a commitment to me to give for as long as it takes for her to get this. That's amazing. I want to honor that. I want to pray on her. I want to pray over her entire family, okay, that she receives the wisdom, the knowledge, the information to keep moving forward, to keep hustling. I know this video right here, for some reason, I'm getting a feeling that I already know I'm going to get this one person that has been watching the channel for a little while and you're like, that's what I needed. That's what I needed to see, Denzel. I wanted to see you do both chunking and then also showing the cash going up and down as we do it. That's all I needed, Denzel. I'm happy. I'm giving right tonight. Right tonight. I'm giving. As soon as this, when this video gets published, I, I feel it. I don't know why. Something, something's going to happen. All right. And whoever that person is, please let me know when we when we have a chat, because I just I feel some sort of energy going on right there. So if you have any questions, comment below, like this video. If you're here for the first time, subscribe, become a part of this family, engage with your community. This is your channel. This is our channel. And together we're establishing the kingdom.